So I know that y'all are thinking that this does not look like the best camper ever, but I'm gonna show you the inside of it and then you'll understand why it is. Hey, I'm Cody Knox at More Than Farmers. If you've known the Knoxes for any amount of time, you know that we tend to think outside of the box. And when we have something to get done, we often have some interesting ideas on how to get that job done. As a little example, one time my dad needed to mow the lawn and his riding mower had broken down. He had a push mower, but he really didn't want to push mow the lawn. So he got the four wheeler out, tied the push mower to the back of the four wheeler and tied the throttle in the on position and took off. But it was pretty funny and there was like a lot of squiggly lines to the lawn and stuff, but he did get the job done. As a couple other more successful examples, I believe it was my great great grandpa that invented the train hitch that we still use today. Uh, my great grandpa one time was driving and by the road he saw an army truck for sale and he was like, I got to have that thing. He went and bought that thing and took it home and I guess somehow he like turned the steering mechanism or whatever around. So like the front was the back, back was the front. He put a loader on it so he could use that thing around the farm to be scooping and loading stuff. When I was growing up, my family loved to go camping, but my dad really didn't like setting up a tent. So he had an idea for a camper that I've used for our family today. I'm gonna open the back up and show you the inside and tell you all about it. It is so cold out here and I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. And if you do, let me know in the comments because it would make it a little more worth it if I knew that you were actually rooting for me out here in the cold. Not quite what you were expecting, was it? Let me tell you my dad's idea behind it and why I love it so much as a camper. So one of the hardest things about going camping is packing everything up to go and then loading everything up to come home. But with this utility trailer, it is super simple just to put everything in here and we can get our bikes in here, our fishing gear, and just everything we need, we can get in here. And then when we come home, it doesn't matter if things are dirty, it doesn't matter if things are kind of a mess, we just shove it in here and come home and then we can deal with the mess later when we have more time and more energy. And the other thing about it is then when we're there, it is so much nicer when the children are going out and playing in the water, getting all dirty and stuff like that, we can come in and out of here and it just really doesn't matter. I don't know whose idea it was to put carpet in RVs. That does not make sense to me whatsoever. I guess that was our compromise with having a trailer that we don't have to worry about a tent leaking, setting up a tent, tearing it down, and folding it up, and keeping it dry, and all that kind of stuff. So basically what I did to turn this utility trailer into a camper, first of all, I put a handle on the door, like a regular RV handle, so you're able to just open and close the door real easy and lock it with a key, and I have an aluminum window here that I just cut a hole in the side of the trailer, put the window in, framed it in with steel around it. it gives a lot of extra light and everything in here and then we've got our bunk beds in here that I made it's basically just two by sixes and some plywood and it's put together with bolts so that the legs come off and then the bed parts come out so that I can stick it away in the storage barn and use my trailer for whatever else I want to we've got our little fold-up kitchenette thing here it's basically just a little countertop with a little bowl in it to use as a sink and that's just really all you need we just bring like a three gallon thing of water along with us when we go camping we've got our little toilet here that is basically a five gallon bucket I've got a friend with a Porta John company that I just got a lid from him and fastened it to the top of that. Then we use sawdust or leaves or whatever, and that's just for emergencies in the middle of the night. There is electric in here too. It was like that when I got it. It's basically just a cord that goes to the outside that you can plug into an extension cord. Then you've got outlets and switches and lights in here. Super simple setup. It'd be super easy to do for somebody who wants to do something like this. Honestly, if somebody gave me a bunch of money and said that I could buy a camper with it, I wouldn't even go buy a camper. I might get a bigger trailer because this is pretty tight for all six of us now but it is exactly what I want it makes camping so much simpler and we feel like we still get the real camping experience out of it we're not going camping anytime soon but in our last video when we talked about some of the things we want to do this year one of them was to go on adventures and one of our favorite adventures is camping we had a windstorm a few months ago I got a bunch of dead trees on my property and a bunch of them got blown over and so especially this stuff that blew over right on my path to get to the backfield I'm gonna cut that up and put on a stack to have for our camping adventures this summer and for campfires that we do around the house and stuff too All the little sticks, just like sticks like this, take over to the burn pile over there. And anything that looks like we could use for a campfire, take over to the stack of wood over there, okay? okay.
you want to learn more about keeping your homestead growing, you're going to want to watch this video next. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit this button right down here so you don't miss what's coming up.